the bus. What? And look at this. Damn, boys. Let ah. me see your mouth. Oh my god, her teeth fell out. Alright guys, so we are leaving Coquitlam, we just left our house, we are on the way to the US border, and it is, I can't remember how many kilometers, but it's about 4,800 kilometers over the next six days, straight down to Mexico, um, it's going to be an adventure, right, this is what we live to do, driven hard. All right, guys, so we are at the U.S. border, the port of entry here in Blaine, Washington. Mariana's just inside doing her, her Mexican thing. Um, I think it's called the I-94. It's something Mexicans or holders of a Mexican passport, I guess that would be Mexicans, uh, need to, to renew every few months when entering the States. We haven't traveled in, like, you know, forever. So she's in there renewing it. Pretty much no wait at the border, which was pretty much expected. How are you two doing? Okay, yeah, that's it for them, apparently. Um, but yeah, so um, first little bit been good. I really got to take a leak and there's no bathrooms here. So I'm really hoping she's not in there too much longer. Maybe that was a little TMI, but it is what it is. But uh, you guys excited for Portland today? Okay, yeah, yeah. Who's excited for Portland? Nobody's excited for Portland. So. For Mexico. We're excited for Mexico. You're excited for Portland, buddy? I'm excited too. So, alright. Alright, so, first thing to do units. Uh, we gotta change over kilometers to miles per hour. So, I know how fast we're going. And we can try to avoid tickets from the US. Police. All right, we are. Where are we? We're twenty one four zero one northeast I five southbound. Um, we're about forty five minutes from Portland. No, probably from Vancouver. Had a little rest stop. Check out the weather though, huh? Like, sun's shining. It's like 10 degrees out. But uh, absolutely gorgeous weather. Wish we'd have some snow, but it is all good. All right. Check in with you guys when we do in Portland. Gonna do some shopping, pick up some shoes, some jeans, some shirts, some whatever we can find because no tax in the beautiful state of Oregon. All right guys, here I am at the Land Rover dealership in Teagard. I believe that's what it's called. Check out these beauties, right? We got my, my, my twin over there. This is a massive dealership, absolutely huge. It ain't open because it's at a god early time that no human should be up at. But what, what a cool, cool dealership. So I just wanted to take a couple quick photos here and uh, look at this, huh? Like, look at that, look at that, right? Take a couple quick photos and uh, before we take off here, we're packed. Day one is in the wraps. It was, it, it sucked. Day one sucked, absolutely sucked. There's no getting around it, but it, day one usually sucks because of the lack of sleep from the night before to early morning, border crossing and uh, and everything, but your boy did go shop and get some new shoes. We got some stuff for the kids, the wife. Um, we had to make sure we live in ourselves because we literally are running out of space there um, in the in the in the rover. So uh, we are headed to Twin Falls right now. So we'll be there in about eight, nine, ten, possibly eleven hours. We'll see how things go. But um, I just I love this dealership. It's just so nice. So, anyways, hope you all enjoying the video. I'll catch you at the next stop. Falls 
just saw the highway in Oregon. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Complaining about nature being loud. What do you think about that, Julia? I think it is loud. What? Well, we're going up to the bridge. Well, Halfway between the two, the two falls. The, what? The, we can go to the top of the falls? Well, I guess we'll have to do that no! too. An issue traveling with me is one YouTuber. So I want to film everything. So that involves stopping, redoing things, and I don't know that fun jazz. But the two, I'm an adventurer. I just want to see everything all the time. So it's like every park that we pass by, I'm like, oh, can we go stop there and look at that park? She's like, I don't even know what it is. I'm like, but it wouldn't be a park or a national park. They wouldn't have a sign on the highway if it wasn't cool. <laughs> Marietta hates it because it takes so long to get anywhere. It's quite the hike, but traveling across the United States my car is one of my absolute like I love it I think there's just so much to see in the United States um, so going across of it like look at this so going across by car and seeing so many of the things is just incredible sweetie let's see the United States and all the beauty it has let's go How are you guys doing? Good. Good. How's day two on the road? So good. You want to tell everybody your setup, what you have going on? Yeah, I'm doing homeschooling. And I got a bag that I can take. See ya. All right, so let's check out our fuel economy for this last fill up. If I read all this information right. So. Average about 13 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, full tank now, should get about 626. Well, going pretty good so far. Boo. Yeah, and RAF too. So we are at, um, yeah, yeah <laughs> we're at Taco Bell. We're at Biggs on I-84, yeah, um, Columbia, yeah, following the Columbia River in Oregon. I think we're still in Oregon. Yeah. We want to go along the river, and we got the big, 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 big giant river. And a waterfall? A waterfall. Yeah. And uh, no, it's going good. Day two, what, way more rested. Uh, it's going great so far. Uh, don't, don't, don't touch my settings. <laughs> <laughs> so a quick bathroom break, filled up with gas. And um, he, he's looking for the seat massages right now. Yeah. Another quick stop at a little restaurant. Yeah. What, what, buddy? Uh, <laughs> let's, sorry, whoa, 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 whoa! What? What? Damn! I never knew that. It's a hiding spot. Holy crap. Ralph, that's so cool. You found it. I found a secret. You found a secret. What's the Zelda, the Zelda tune? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> that's awesome, buddy. High five, high five. Wait, here. I feel like I'm planting. Yeah, that is so cool. All right. <laughs> so, a little water break. This thing so handy. Um, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but I don't even know why I'm showing you guys. But you know, stay hydrated, right? So there we go. Turn, turn that bad boy. And 
here, I'll just do it like this. Open up the, let some air flow. We get to go. Look at that. Fresh water on the road trip. Oregon Trail. Who used to play that game back in the, back in the day, huh? I guess we are at the Oregon Trail rest stop. Oh, this is so cool. Check this out. This is why road trips rock. You get to see stuff like this. It's like traveling, traveling the modern way. How these guys used to travel with, you know, one or two horses. We travel with 600 horses now. But, oh, that is, well, that's not cool because they're obviously suffering. But, my God, I just, I love this type of history and stuff like this. So cool, so cool. Right, I don't know where we are. We passed Oregon City a little while ago. Uh, no, well, no, we're probably right here. Oh my God, we still have a ways to go. But, oh, awesome. All right, guys, we are in Ontario. Ontario, I don't know what state we're in. I don't, I don't know if we've crossed the state line yet, but we're just filling up for some gas. We should be in Twin Falls in the next three, maybe four hours. Um, it is cold. It's like three degrees right now. So it, the temperature has this drop. No snow, mm, but uh, going good. Getting a little tired, so I'm going to get some energy drinks in me. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, how the fam's doing. How are you doing? What are you learning about? I'm learning about some of the weirdest species. One of the weirdest animals on Earth, the angel. The angel. Wow. Yeah. All right, everybody. We're uh, at uh, uh, Boise, Boise Stage Stop. You can see it over here. Boise Stage Stop in Boise, Idaho about an hour and a half or so from our destination of Twin Falls. And uh, just, just around in here really quick. And I gotta tell you, one of the things I love and cherish the most is the stereotypical American uh, truck stops. Uh, it's part of my friends, just sitting there, watching all the trucks sit around the, around the, um, whatchamacallit, you know, around the, the bar type of thing, but it's a restaurant. And uh, you know they got their 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 apple pie there's and you know a whole case of the pies, a little meringue pie. I'm kind of feeling some of that right now. I just I adore that something about that lifestyle and that thing. And I was just in there, just kind of people watching. I'm like, this is so so cool. We don't really have that type of thing in Canada. Um, I, I don't know for some reason. I guess it's just the road trip in me. Uh, I just absolutely just love that. I don't think Mariana likes that, but I just like I just love it. Yeah, I think it's so cool. But uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, feeling good. So just hour and a half. Then we gotta hit up some Texas Roadhouse. Get myself a nice big ass porterhouse and uh, maybe a big potato or something like that. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. We've been driving all day. We just sat down. We got the best food. Our favorite restaurant, Texas Roadhouse. Look at this bone and ribeye works baked potato and some veggies this stuff's to die for what a long day yeah it's, it's ufc sweetie not wrestling kids are eating the salmon we have the holiday inn in twin falls <laughs> i will catch you guys in the morning have a good night Just a quick little coffee 
oatmeal break, but check out these views. We are in Salt Lake City now. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, oh, there's there's the birthday girl. Absolutely sunny view. You can't open it yet? Careful, don't pull off the door handle, buddy. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. You say that. Okay. How, how's your trip going, bud? <laughs> it go I'm trying to open the door. Okay, let me open the door. <laughs> So just stopped for a little pee break and absolutely stunning Utah desert views here. I definitely want to offer some of my thoughts on what it's like to drive a Range Rover Sport cross country with the family. I think I'll do a separate review video on that. But let me just say, obviously comfort. It's perfect. A full size, having a few more inches, that that I'm sure would help. I feel the kids are a little tight on the back, but man, oh man, if you wanna go cross country, this is definitely the thing to go with for sure. Uh, I just so desperately wanna hit all these side little trails and everything, but you know, it is wife's birthday. She wants to get to the destination and all that. So uh, next stop though, Moab, we'll see if we can, you know, a little trail, who knows? Take a look at this. So, the rise and fall of the arch. Okay, look over here. See there? Yeah. Between those two, that's what this used to be there. That thing. So we are at Arches National Park now, and we're gonna see some arches. And uh, happy birthday. Thank you. So it's a little chilly, a little chilly. No climbing or no climbing or playing at the arches. Yeah, you're right, except yeah. these are stairs, so we can climb these, right? Oh uh, yeah. All right. It is absolutely stunning here in Bluff, Utah. Um, we just woke up and Mariana's like, look outside. I'm like, oh, we had no idea because it was pitch black, pitch black when we came here. But my God almighty, this is something else. Last night, I was treated to one of the things I wanted to see my entire life. Look at that sunset. I was treated to one of the most incredible things that I've always wanted to see in my entire life. Um, check it out, the Milky Way. And it was absolutely mesmerizing um, seeing that for the first time. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some more views in here for y'all, but um, check it out, the Milky Way for the very first time. You could see it with the naked eye going across the sky. 
I'll try. I was trying my best to take some photos. Um, I'll throw them up so you can check check those out. But my God, this is that's been a bucket list thing for me for for uh, for, for forever, really. Um, so it was just so cool to see that. In fact, we made the decision that on our way back to Canada, we were going to stop at a place that's known for star, uh, stargazing, maybe up in Montana or or somewhere. Uh, we, we, you know, if you know a place for stargazing, let us know. But uh, we're going to make sure we do that because wintertime, clear skies, got to do it. Road trips. This is what road trips are all about. This is awesome. So anyways, we got the Range Rover over here doing absolutely fantastic. Um, it's been great. We haven't even been filling up for gas as much as we have been on other trips, which is a little unique, but I guess, I guess it's because we're not driving as hard. <laughs> Right? Isn't that a uh, going back against what I what I'm all, all about? But uh, you know, I don't think we've gone over 160 kilometers an hour um, the entire trip once, and uh, I think I can't remember the speed rating for that. But you know, I've been checking that, and uh, you see a bit of frost up there, right? A little bit of frost. It's about minus two degrees. Is it open? It ain't open right now, but you know, been checking it to make sure it's not moving or anything like that, and it's been good. Uh, you can see it better, obviously, when you open the door. But uh, look at the front views. Look at this, guys. So, anyways, we're gonna get everything backed up. I'm getting really cold, so we gotta get going, and then we're going to Four Corners Monument. Uh, take a couple photos, and then oh. And then um, we are going to be heading to Armadillo, Arm, Arm, I call it Armadillo, Texas, but that ain't the right word, but we head into Texas. Check this out, guys. Historical Route 66 is where we are right now. We are uh, just outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico, about 20 miles or so. And, uh, you know, usual bathroom break, stretch break and everything. But we still can't get over this weather. It being, you know, I don't know what the date is today, October, December 6th or something. And it's been literally like blue skies and not too too cold at night it gets chilly but uh we were expecting kind of a whole you know the weather's been incredible weather's been absolutely incredible so there's wrath hey buddy what are you doing <laughs> but yeah no so this has been great uh definitely get a little sore miss the gym but uh, uh oh, did i even talk about that ticket <laughs> So I got a ticket. Damn, boys. Ugh. I have no idea how fast I was going. <laughs> the only time, so I've done this drive so many times, or not so many times, like three, four times. The only time I get a ticket is when I'm going through a small little town late at night. Uh, but, uh, you know, 47 and a 30, guilty. But, uh, you know, it's all good. What's up, little man? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. I was just telling them about the ticket Daddy got. The speeding ticket? Was Daddy going too fast? 
Did somebody have to go pee though? Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's all good. But the experience has been awesome so far. Ha! Ah, we gonna go check out some of the Breaking Bad um, scenes. The wife just finished watching that for the first time, and uh, we're just ah. ah! So we're gonna go check out some of that stuff in, in Al Albuquerque. Right now, so let's go! Check this out. That is the house from Breaking Bad. Um, Walt, Walt's house. That is so cool. Um, here with the wife. Her first time seeing that show. Uh, we finished. We finished it a few weeks ago. Um, so it's just so cool seeing seeing the house. I don't want to get too close. Somebody does live there, uh, so you know I just want to be respectful and all of that. But that is just so cool to see the house. We're gonna go stop at a couple other couple other quick um, Breaking Bad. Uh, 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 places where they filmed and uh, locations, I guess, is what they're called. But uh, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, guys, stop number two. Law offices for Better Call Saul. So cool. Uh, it looks pretty abandoned. I don't think there's any businesses using it right now or anything like that, but uh, it is kind of cool. All right, about to start day, I think it's day five. It's, well, it's not that early, but here we go. Today is day five, day five or six? Five. Five. We are driving from somewhere in North Texas down all the way across the great state of Texas today. Uh, it's like 10 hours or so driving today, but we get these Texas size views sun's coming up um i need a starbucks but uh texas is always up oh, hit my speed limiter um texas is always my favorite state just because wide open roads lots of space high speed limits and look at this So I am at the Jackson Brothers meet uh, locker here in Post, Texas. Literally, I've seen this stuff on TV. It's world famous beef jerky, so we're picking some up. But uh, this is an old school butcher shop here in small Post, Texas. I live for these type of places. Love this. Absolutely love this seen on the Texas bucket list. Alright guys, so check this out. We got it. Uh, I got the pepper one. But look at this, huh? Wow, that is uh, Oh yeah. It's good. It's so good. Alright, we got some fries from the cutest little diner ever and my favorite thing chicken fried oops chicken fried steak in texas we're going at a park. yeah we're at a park a little picnic we got the whole thing to ourselves in santa what's this place called santa rosa santa ana texas you know it's it's so cool just thinking right you got a some sort of field but like just the stories when this thing's you know full of the community here and and uh, just it's a completely different life you know one I, I probably can't even fully comprehend but it's just so cool i i just i love this small town type of things right so cool look at this seesaw right there. this thing's ancient Um, like you even see, like, look how old this is. Like you see it, it's just completely dug out. You know, this is decades, decades old. Um, this swing set, right? So cool. Yeah, I'll push you, sweetie. So, uh, pee break. We are in Mason. Um, Mason, Texas, uh, 
uh, right pretty much almost in the smack dab middle of Texas. Uh, we just left a place called the heart of Texas. It's literally the heart. But you see behind us this building, it's the courthouse. And I remember when I passed through here a couple of years ago, it wasn't burned down and they had a massive file and fire and thing got destroyed. But, you know, take a look at this town. It's just the old school Texan town. I love these small, small towns. Um, you know, just so cool, so much history. And once again, this is the stuff you don't get to see when you're 30,000 feet up. Um, you know, this is stuff you get to see when you're driving across the country, right? Road yeah. tripping style. So, all right, let's get to McAllen. Yo, what's going on everybody? So we are probably outside out of San Antonio. My God, the traffic, we hit San Antonio at rush hour. It was not cool, but we got through that. And now we are um, somewhere along, I is it I-84, I think? Sure, I that we're near Corpus. On the near Corpus Crispy. I think it's I-84, I don't know. Is it, yeah, Crispy is, is <laughs> Anyways. Long day, but we're about an hour and a half, two hours from McAllen, our destination. Uh, just filling up here again. Oh, can't believe it's almost done. We almost there. We almost have a home stretch, and then we get a two-day break, and then it's driving literally all the way across Mexico. God Almighty! Uh, I might be losing my mind, but uh, anyways, things are going well. Hope you've been enjoying this video. Might do a quick little wrap up tonight, but most likely. I'm going to come at you from the San Juan JLR dealership when we get a, an oil change for this bad boy. I got the kids screaming. They want to say hi. Down. This is my tooth. What? What happened? It fell out. What? Hold on. What? Your tooth? <laughs> what? Let, let, let me see. Let me see your mouth. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Her tooth fell out. Her tooth fell out. It I happened. All right, guys, we are here at the San Juan dealership uh, here in Texas, Southern Texas. Um, oil change time. They're going to give her a quick once over, but over 3,000 kilometers, I believe it is. I'll put the actual thing in the in the carts, but uh, 3,000 or so kilometers traveled. You can see I haven't washed her once. I'm going to let them do a courtesy wash for me, but the brake dust that's accumulated from these absolute horrible brakes that Land Rover is using currently on the Range Rover. Um, but man, she has been a beast and a half. Now, she is not brand new anymore. You can definitely tell driving around, there's a couple creeks and things like that. But um, all in all, she's been a blast. It's funny because the last time I did this, she had only 5,000 kilometers or so on. Now she's over 90,000 kilometers. Let's look at the odometer actually. Right? Um, what's it say there? Right? Oof. So like 89,000, 90,000 kilometers. And uh, she, she ain't feeling like a, a, a young lady anymore, right? She's a little worn in, but uh, would not have it any other way. Can't wait to do this with, with the, the next generation one when that comes out. But uh, oil change time. I'm going to have some breakfast, catch up on some messages. but uh, And then we're, we're going to cross the border into Mexico and go down to Monterey, which is about uh, two more hours of driving. And then it's a quick break. And then we got to drive all the way that direction, I believe, to the beach to Mazatlan. All right, guys, <laughs> we're in Mexico now, finally. The car is imported, hour and a half there. Um, <laughs> we got the full Mexican experience, it's awesome. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm exhausted. That was a little much, but uh, we're driving through Reynosa, the do not stop area, um, about two and a half hours from Monterey. But you check out how things have changed now. Right, but 
Guys, does it feel good to be back in Mexico? Yes! I know it does feel so good to be back here. The lively, the energy, I can feel it. Can you feel it, babe? Yep. Alright guys, so now take a look. Now we're on the toll highway. Um, before you saw it, it was just the regular highway. But this is the toll highway to Monterey. Um, I can't remember when they built it, but it's only a few years old, but it's smooth. Normally, if I wasn't uh, carrying the, the big thing on the roof, this is usually the stretch I'd be going about 2 to 20 down. Because uh, basically, it's the Audubon in Mexico. <laughs> but uh, smooth sailing from here on to Monterey, pretty much. There's a couple tolls that you're going to pay uh, a few dollars. But uh, yeah. We have arrived in Monterey. It is so good to be back. Um, absolutely, it, it's it's surreal. It's absolutely surreal for a few reasons. One, lack of sleep. Two, we just traveled 4,400 kilometers or something like that in the in the last few days. But it is good to be back in familiar territory. Um, seeing the family, we're just catching up and everything. Um, I'm just kind of lost for words, but what an amazing, amazing road trip. I'm probably going to do another video and talk about some of the highlights and, you know, what it was like driving the Range Rover across the country for the second time with the family. And uh, definitely some thoughts on the roof rack. Um, definitely going to be doing that. So watch out for that video. Sorry, I, I'm just not paying attention to my gimbal. Watch out for that video. Um, coming up in the next little bit. But uh, till next time, everybody, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments, hit like, and most importantly, let me know what you are driving hard.